Hello guys and thanks for watching the second tutorial of this series about Samsung Smart TV applications development. My name is Konstantin and I am part of the tvappsdevelopment.com team. This tutorial is focused on installing the development tools and running a sample application. In the previous tutorial we downloaded the development tools and now we need to install and configure them. Here are the items which we already downloaded and the first thing we need to do is to extract the Samsung Smart TV SDK. This is the item. So as I already uh, extracted it, here is, the, here is the, the content. But before we start the Eclipse application, we have to uh, do some other things. The next thing we need to do is to install the VirtualBox application. Just double click and uh, also you need to double click on the VirtualBox package icon. Since I already have this application installed on my computer, I'll go directly to the Applications folder. I will start the VirtualBox application. And when we start your VirtualBox application, it will be empty. All you need to do is to go to File select import and then open you also need to specify the uh, smart tv emulator image which we, we we already downloaded and press open hit continue and here it is not needed to change anything except the number of processors from 3 to 1 and then press import. As I already have this image uh, mounted, I will skip this step. The last thing you need to, to do is to go to settings shared folders and then ensure that you have two folders first one called apps and the second one called tools please specify the names as it is here because it is case sensitive also ensure that uh, the settings uh, of auto amount uh, are set to yes and also the both folders have full full access then press ok also try to remember the name of the virtual machine because we will use it later I mean 2014 underscore smart underscore TV underscore emulator we will minimize this application and now we are ready to start the Eclipse application. Now you are prompted to specify the workspace. You can change it or you can leave it as it is. I'll press OK. During the loading time of the um, Eclipse application, I just want to mention once again that it is re uh, required to have Java version 1.7 or higher in order to use it. 
If you are not sure which version of Java you have or don't have Java at all, please watch my previous tutorial. Since I already have it, um, I will skip this step. So we have Eclipse up and running and if you want to uh, import a, a sample application, you can press File and then select Import. Choose Samsung Smart TV Apps and then Samsung Smart TV Native Apps Project. Then press Next and as a root directory select Browse and navigate to, to the SDK folder and then select the folder applications. Here we have um, we have sample applications which comes directly with um, with the development environment. So it is not needed to download it from any anywhere else. And press open. All the sample applications are loaded here and you can deselect all and select um, only this one, News App. Then press Finish. OK. The News App project is loaded and before we, uh, we run it, we need to um, customize uh, the emulator. Press the Eclipse and then Preferences and expand Samsung Smart TV and hit Emulator. Here on the emulator machine name, please specify the name of the machine um, which uh, which you uh, set as a name for the emulator image. Here it is. Ensure that this name here of the emulator is exactly like this name. 214 underscore smart underscore TV underscore emulator. You can close the virtual box application, press apply and then OK. Now we are ready to start the application. Select the project and with right mouse click go to run as Samsung Smart TV emulator. Wait for a while. And the emulator is running. Sometimes it takes more time to, to load, so please be patient and wait for the emulator to, to run.
it is coming it is coming Still holding. This is the graphic interface of the emulator. Here is the uh, TV. On the right side is the remote control, and below we have some uh, console. It is near to finish. Thanks for your patience. And here is the application. So we have a title, we have three categories, and each category have uh, some news. We can change the category or the last one. We can also select a particular news. And here is the content of the news. You can also use the remote control to navigate. And that's pr pretty much about this sample application. Thanks guys for watching. This is the end of these tutorials and we will see you in the next one. You can also find more video tutorials on tvappsdevelopment.com.